The International Men's Day in South Africa comes on the backdrop of shocking crime statistics released by the police minister on Friday. Close to 10,000 women and children were raped between July and September this year and more than 6,000 people killed, with about 900 being women. The province has also reported 21,000 cases of teenage pregnancy. Rural areas remain a concern where traditional customs and social norms lead to the violation of women's rights. Traditional leaders in some areas have been criticized for colluding with perpetrators and facilitating that damages be paid to the victims of assault and gender-based violence. We will want to send a strong message that this habit, it's not a culture. This habit of paying some sort of compensation when there is an abuse of young girls, that should not be accepted. People must be taken, must be arrested. Those who are abusing, they must be punished for those acts, for such acts. Let us strengthen our partnership with Izinduna. That's why we are here. We need to strengthen partnership with traditional leadership especially Izinduna. We are talking to Izinduna because Izinduna are the ones who, who should deal, who should nature a boy on how to deal with rejection. Because, you know, if a, 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 a young man has been rejected, others opt to kill that girl. Local traditional leadership say they have a responsibility to educate and instill in young men strong values to address violence, in particular that's directed at women and children. He says they are teaching young men to behave responsibly and to protect and provide for their families and also protect their communities. He says they are being given life lessons by older men. He says the head men in the area also grouped them into a group of young and responsible men. He says they are being taught respect and good values. The international 16 days of activism against women and children abuse is expected to kick off in less than a week. Traditional leaders have also committed to stemming the tide against gender-based violence. Vusi Kumalo, SAPC News, Durban.